This video sets out to explain what polarization is, its implications and applications. The classic demonstration of the function of Polaroid filters is to place one in front of the other, in front of a bright light, and then gradually turn the second. As you turn it, the light darkens and goes almost black. Turn it further and it lightens again. When the light passes through both, they are aligned in the same direction. When the light is stopped, when the image is dark, they're aligned at 90 degrees to one another. It works something like this. The white light from outside is oscillating in every plane. The filter only allows one component of the wave to pass through. In this case, in this picture, it is the vertical component. The filter can be imagined as railings or a gate, where only the waves that are going up and down the bars can get through. But I should emphasize that is not exactly how it works, but it's how we can imagine it works. It is a useful mental image. If the second filter is aligned at right angles to the first, in this case horizontally, because it is at right angles, none of the waves can pass through it. Therefore, the image that you see looking through the second filter is black. There are a number of uses and applications of Polaroid filters, which for examination purposes you need to understand. Here the camera is focusing on a bright reflection from the surface of a tank of water. When a Polaroid filter is put in front of the camera, the picture is darkened slightly, but it is the reflection that is darkened the most, both the reflection from the surface of the water and the reflection from the wet ground beyond. That is because the reflected light from a non-metallic surface is partly polarized. The sunlight reflecting on this water is not polarized. The waves within it are oscillating in all directions. The part of that light that reflects best are those waves which are oscillating parallel to the surface from which they're reflecting. Those oscillating vertically are not completely eliminated, but they are reduced. So the reflection or glare that we see is largely from horizontally polarized light. A Polaroid filter aligned vertically will therefore cut out a great deal of this reflection, eliminating glare. This fact and this filter therefore is used by photographers, but also used in Polaroid sunglasses to reduce glare from the sea, from the beach or from snow. The light coming from blue sky is partially polarized. This is caused by electrons within the atoms of the atmosphere absorbing the light, being scattered and then re-emitting the light in a specific plane. When a Polaroid filter is put in front of the camera, it darkens the blue sky, increasing the contrast with the cloud. Again, a photographic technique often employed. Whilst looking at the sky, notice that the television aerials on the roofs of the houses have elements which are horizontal. That's because the signal they receive is horizontally polarized. If the elements were turned vertically, the signal would not be received well at all. If we arrange two crossed Polaroids so that they are dark and then introduce a piece of perspex in between them, you can see the colored bands. Looking closely, these bands follow some of the contours on the perspex. For example, they are more densely packed around the cut point through the center of this protractor. And the bands are particularly pronounced and very close together if we move our view to the center of the protractor which has been pressed to form a center point for the readings. Introducing another shape between the Polaroids, you can see the color bands in it. Particularly notice that as we flex the ruler, the color bands change slightly. The stress in the perspex changes the bands of color. And is that that is often used in analyzing stresses in models. The arrangement we have is illustrated here. There's an unpolarized source of light with the unpolarized waves oscillating in all planes. 
That source then passes through a Polaroid filter, which polarizes it, in this case, vertically. That polarized light is white light composed of all spectrum wavelengths, the blue through to red. This white light passes through the perspex shape. This perspex, particularly when it's stressed, rotates the plane of polarization of the light, but rotates each color by a different amount. This light then passes through a second Polaroid filter, in this case arranged at 90 degrees to the first. That Polaroid shown here will only allow the horizontal component of the light to pass through. Since each color has been rotated by a different amount, the light passing through will no longer be white, but will be banded. The width and color of the bands give a guide to the amount of stress in the model. The final application of Polaroid filters, which I'm explaining here, is in the viewing of 3D images. In a 3D picture, on the cinema screen for example, two images are projected onto the screen. To the naked eye, the images are slightly out of alignment, and therefore the image looks blurred. One with horizontally polarized light, and the other with vertically polarized light. The glasses you wear use filters, one horizontally organized and the other vertically aligned. Each filter is arranged therefore so that the eye, that is each eye, can only see one image. Because these separate images were in slightly different positions, they're interpreted by the brain as having depth, so we see a 3D image. Thank you for watching. Notes and further videos on waves are available from the website.